Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are working with the special delivery kit from Doodlebug Designs. So we're also going to include four sheets of cardstock and these are from Stamping Up. Um, two of them are gray granite. Uh, one of them, the yellow one, is soft sea foam and then the green one is pear pizzazz. And I went with like just really neutral um, baby colors and then obviously this kit is kind of more designed for boys um, so we got the the small sticker sheet the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with the kit here and then also we got those the little the little hearts as well I went ahead and picked cutting guide C today just because our embellishments are really small and I wanted to have multiple pic like more pictures on my pages so we're going to need two uh, accent papers and then four background papers. I'm just going ahead here and taking out all of the journaling card type papers or things that I might be able to use as accents on my pages. So then we ended up taking out, I think it was like three pages. There's actually four if you count like the borders, but I decided I didn't really need those. So, um, so I kept these three by four, these uh, square um, embellishment pieces and then these um, journaling cards. So I decided that I wanted more uh, subtle backgrounds and which meant that I was going to be able to pick more bold accent papers. So here I'm just flipping over what I think that I like best for all my pages and I pulled off a striped and a buffalo pla or a plaid kind of accent there on the side those two and I decided that I liked the this plaid one better because it wasn't directional and it incorporated the colors really nicely that I really wanted to accent so I went ahead and used that one as my accent paper and then I used this one as my second accent paper just because it had a lot of little images on the paper and for my four background pages here, the only thing that I really was looking for was just that they were going to be a little bit more subtle and didn't have a lot of icons or anything like that on them. So things that were a little bit more neutral in their design. So now what we're going to do is take all pieces of our cardstock and we are going to be cutting one inch in from the side, one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom and cutting a straight line on all four sides. So what we are basically doing is cutting out a 10 by 10 inch square out of the center of this 12 by 12 cardstock. Our one inch border is going to be put into our piles so there should be uh, four or six piles and then our 10 by 10 inch square that we just cut out is going to be put to the side and we're going to be cutting them uh, with another cutting diagram uh, once we're done cutting out all these pieces of cardstock. When your paper goes through the cutter in the same direction that it would be on your layout, that's the side that you want to cut 0.25 inches off on. So when your page is sideways through the cutter, you actually want to cut 0.5 inches off on that side.
Okay, so it's been a while since I've done baby pages. Those are obviously not about my own children, um, but I do have some nephews that are super little and I have some pictures that of them that I want to use up. So um, the theming behind this week was just some general baby pages and then I went with one themed page regarding like sleeping time and then another one around bath time. So that's kind of where my head was at for these four pages. And here I'm taking this um, this paper and I'm cutting out all of these um, squares that say baby. And I'm using them to accent this page. I really thought that it would work with this page because um, there's a lot of like, you know, there's already two sort of square picture areas. so. Um, the way that it was, the, the picture orientation is on this layout, I, f I figured it would work out okay um, to frame the word baby in and amongst those photos. If you don't want to cover up the photos as much as I did, that's okay. You can definitely spread it out a little bit differently or move that 4x6 photo area over a little bit. And this is just kind of like a generally themed page, like welcome to the world. This might be like... For me, I might have pictures of them in the hospital still here and when like my kids and my family goes to visit them. And um, the way I put these elements on the page, I definitely made sure that I can still slip a 3x4 photo in and replace my photo mat there. You get a lot of questions about that. So usually the way, sometimes I'll actually put like foam squares on the back and not remove the adhesive just so that it's easier for me later on to lift up that element, slip my photo in, and then replace it. Obviously, you know, it's better to do it right all at once. It's just I don't want to have pictures of anyone in my family on my uh, YouTube videos or like on any kind of social media that I have these pages on. All of the stickers that came that I ended up buying with this collection are very small and that's part of the reason why I did cutting guide C today. I feel like the the layouts are um, a lot easier to put smaller embellishments on. You don't need to fill up as much of the page with larger embellishments just to 
um, because the, there's so many pictures that they kind of do that for you. So here I ended up liking this journaling card that says favorite things. I kind of wish I didn't cut it down so much. I could have made it stick out a little bit more. And then in the end, I kind of ended up deciding to take out this three by three photo area and replace it um, with that big element that says dream big little one. And then um, this is again, just kind of like a general page that I wanted to do. And if you, if you wanted to, you could definitely put like a stats card there instead of the favorite things. Um, but I didn't want to do that for this layout. So for this layout here, I wanted to incorporate more of that yellow color and make this a bath time layout. So this big, big element that came off the 12x12 sticker sheet from the kit uh, says rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, babies in the tub. And um, I feel like this layout is so neutral that you could do this for a baby girl as well because it's mostly yellow based and some gray. Um, I do incorporate the boy part of it at the bottom of the 4x6 photo area where it says little, I'm going to put a little sticker that says um, a little baby boy, but you definitely don't have to. You can definitely put like a name or a date at the bottom or something like that. What I did with these three duckies is I adhered two of them directly to that journaling card and then I popped one, the larger one of the three up in the middle is to give it a little bit of texture and change it up a little bit. And then I put quotation marks there and I'm just planning to put a date there. I didn't want to leave a big area to journal because I didn't really, it's not my own kid. And um, I might actually gift this to them. So um, it's not, is there a lot to say when it's the baby's bath time? I'm not really sure. Anyways, so I didn't want to leave a big journaling area there, but you could definitely pull that card out a little bit more to give yourself a little bit more space to journal with if you did want to. Um, and then at the bottom, I just put little baby boy and tiny toes. And then for our last layout here that we're working on, I wanted this one to be like all about sleeping. Um, I wanted to kind of like be a little bit about cuddling and like, you know, when you're holding a baby and they're sleeping and that seems to be like when you take pictures of like other kids holding a baby things like that so um i wanted to incorporate sleepy time because at that at that age is really cute when they're sleeping um so what i i love this little mobile i thought it was like a great element and i decided to pop it up so it was a little bit finicky trying to cut out all these little pieces but i love the end result i think it almost looks like the mobile is like floating a little bit and because it's such a small element with the foam squares they they don't really lay flat they kind of they're kind of propped up in weird angles so it almost does look like it's dangling so it's really cool and then i love this little owl that says night night sleep tight and then i just flanked all of those areas with um some more of the little critters from the sticker sheets I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's tutorial. Um, we'll be back in a couple of Fridays from now with another one. And um, I hope you guys have a really great weekend. It is supposed to snow here next week, so we are getting ready for winter. Talk soon. <laughs>